What's up guys, Jay Yudlowski here, Focus Photography and Design, helping you focus on your photography. Today I wanted to take a look at an image where we want to try and extract this grass in the middle here, this ornamental grass, from the background. I had somebody reach out to me saying that they were trying to do this and were having some trouble. So I offered to help and this is just a little video to show you how I was able to silhouette this ornamental grass from the background. Okay, so I have it open in Photoshop here using Photoshop CC 2018. So I have it just on the background layer. I'm going to unlock that. First thing I want to do is come over to my quick selection tool here. I'm going to select that. I'll go with a medium sized brush and I'm just going to begin to paint over top of the grass. Now this selection may be a little tricky or this particular ornamental grass may be a little tricky to extract from the background, especially on the right and left hand sides. This is because you have the same kind of grass, the same texture, the, uh, the fine grass blades. So it's kind of hard for Photoshop to find where those individual blades of grass are on the right and left hand sides. Now around the top here, that's going to be easier for Photoshop to pull that out. Um, so I'm going to paint over my grass here and paint along the bottom a little more. And I'm going to get most of it there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is come over to the Select and Mask button at the top of your screen here. I'm going to hit Select and Mask. Now you see uh, over here on the right hand panel in view mode, you can use whichever one of these works best for you. Right now I'm using onion skin. So the next thing I want to do is come over to my tools on the left hand side. The second tool down here is the refine edge brush tool. And that's what I want to use to brush around the edges of this grass to select all the little strands of, of grass that are sticking up and out. So I'm going to start around the top. And I'm going to brush in here, just do a swipe around the top. And you can see it's put the fibers of the grass in there. And then I'm going to come around the side, down around the bottom, and around that side as well. Now it's not going to be perfect, but it'll give us a good place to start. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to scroll down on the right hand side. I want the output to be selection. I'm going to hit OK. Now what I want to do is put this selection on a layer mask. So I'm going to come down here on the bottom right panel here. I'm going to click the mask. And now we have our grass masked out. Now I want to add a white fill layer on the bottom just so I can see exactly what my, uh, my grass is looking like. So I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. Click OK. White. Click OK. Now I have a new color fill layer. I'm going to drag that to the bottom. So you can see here, it's a little, a little rough around the edges there. So um, what I'm going to do is come back to our layer mask here, and I'm just going to take the paintbrush by selecting letter B or your tool over here. Make sure I have white and black selected as the foreground and background colors. And I'm going to just brush around the edges with a very low flow here. I'm going to do about 5%. And I'm going to brush around the edges of the selection here a little bit. Now, depending on what you're going to use this grass for, you may need a better selection than uh, what we're going to end up with here. But it really just depends on what you're going to be using it for. I'll soften that edge just a little. And then what I would do is I would take a small brush. And I would stick around the, the 5%. And then I'd go around the edges and just kind of mask out a little bit more of that, that edge. And primarily, you're going to need it on the sides. Now, if you find that on the inside of your grass here, there's some areas you need to bring back. You can change to white. I'm going to bump up the flow a little bit, and you can paint back in those areas. And you can even go ahead and drop the flow back again to around 5% or so. Make a smaller brush and paint in some of the finer things going out. And again, I'm just doing it quick here. You would spend more time to get a better edge on there. You can even try using the Refine Edge tool a little bit more. So there you go. You have your grass. We have it cut out from the background. You can see there it was originally. There we have it cut out from the background. And that's pretty much how I would extract this grass 
from the background. Once I have it at this point, you can then save it as a JPEG with a white background, or you can save it as a PNG with a transparent background, which will allow you to drop it on another image. And then you'll see, you know, you can see the, that image through the little white areas here you see on the grass. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for stopping by my YouTube channel. I hope this video helped you out a little bit on learning how to extract objects from your images. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below. We'll see you next time.